The Somalia-born supermodel Iman is known as one of the great beauties of this era. And while traveling the world for her work, Iman often frequented flea markets instead of nightclubs. I'm with her. Uh, <laughs> turning her passion for decorating into a new line of embroideries and fabrics called Iman Home. And you're as beautiful as yes. any fabric you've ever worn. Oh, it's so nice are. to see you. You're kind of timeless, you know that? Thank you. You know, I'm 55 years old. Oh, my you, know, you so are? Yeah, I'm 55 years old with a 31-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old. Uh, so I've been is around the block. Uh, uh, you know, a few is, this, times. is this all good genes, then, that we yes. have happening there? It's genes. Definitely okay. is genes. De definitely genes. It's not, I don't do that much. <laughs> so then do you have any kind of um, sympathy at all for, like, real people like us? Uh, uh, Float and <laughs> things like you that? You look good to me. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I didn't know that you had this passion for design. I didn't know that was part of what you love. Yeah, I've stopped modeling in 1989. So, you know, I uh, got married to David Bowie. I had a daughter ten year, who's 10 years old. And mm -hmm. so... Really, my passion changed from fashion to home. So, you know, and, and I find it nowadays, because the life is so hot outside, yeah. people want to cocoon and stay at home. Yeah, mm -hmm. refuse. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I wanted to do is create uh, the Iman home is about fabrics, and it's available at Calico Corners. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love Calico Corners. Corners. Isn't it great? Yes. yes. And it's on calicoCorners.com also, and it's affordable. And it's, you know, beautiful fabrics from inspired by all over the world. So people would buy the fabric and turn it into a couch, a couch chair or something like that. Exactly. I wanted to create the DNA of, of home. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you. We were talking about yes. it earlier. When I want to decorate beautiful. a room, I really start with the fabrics first. Mm -hmm. uh, and this picture you're seeing is actually the room that I decorated for Mercedes. Oh, that was a Mercedes-Benz one. Yes. yes a Mercedes-Benz uh, at Lincoln Center. This is Fashion Week. This is was oh, for Fashion hello. Week. Yes. That's yes. very nice. And so that what I wanted to really do rooms that will transport you and take you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I mean, travel in its own is very difficult these days. Forget sure. about really trying to collect things from all over the mm -hmm. world. So do you fight with David when you want to do a room? You want to check this guy? Because he is such an artist himself. Yes. I'm sure he had some input into it. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's you the way know, like home it. is usually <laughs> where, you know, where women really do. Yeah. So uh -huh. he, never, he never says, I don't like that. Yeah. I want no, he does. <laughs> but he does. still win. He does. But he loves the fact fabric, so I, I warned him we're redecorating next year. And it's embroidery as well, right? Oh, also, not just the fabric. Mm -hmm. There is e cups, uh, the hand wovens, uh, you know, it's and really, really uh, from different cultures around the world. Oh, you have, you're talking about your daughter who's just going into fifth grade, and that's a, that's a transition for a lot of, a lot of young girls. A huh? lot of young girls. Yeah. And as we were, as you guys were talking earlier, it's very difficult now to raise a young girl. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah. Did you understand about the lady with the, with the, with the child at six I years totally old? Understand. I totally understand. So we really have to really overprotect our girls. Uh -huh. Really, really. And, you know, and everything starts at home. Yeah, no. Well, we enjoyed having your older daughter on. She was here, Zoo, and she, right? Yes. Yeah, and she was talking about she had she had struggled with her weight. She was up to I think more than three hundred pounds, and yep. then she had some surgery, and, and and just felt like a different person. That must have been difficult for her struggling through that time. Oh, huh? absolutely, because mm -hmm. you know you can see the person that she is, yeah, yes. and exactly. and how the world outside judges you know, mm -hmm. girls or women cruelly, who are, yeah, cruelly. Cruelly. So, so th I have an, uh, you know, a different take on that, being her, you know, being her mother and what's going on in our industry. I totally am what's against. What's your take, yeah. Well, well, because there is no one definition of beauty. Yeah. Really, there isn't. And, and as you know, my daughter, you've seen her, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Yeah. Gorgeous. You know, so there is no definition of that. So mm -hmm. when they had uh, this uh, uh, at fashion, uh, at fashion Lincoln Center, week, yeah. this on Fashion Week, they had a, you know, I was so proud, they had a plus size fashion show. Which is a bit of a long yeah, time. Yeah, so it's about time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, and most of the time when you ask women or men, they don't think what a lot of models that skinny mm -hmm. actually look good anyway. But see, the no. difference is you are that way naturally. You're not starving yourself yes, right. to look like that and putting your health at risk. Yeah. I mean, so. I'm, st I'm like a, yeah. uh, to them a plus size. <laughs> hello. <laughs> then I don't want to know what I am. I know. Yeah. Great to see thank you. Good luck. Say hello good to them. Oh, we thank to David as well. Thank you very much. Up next, we are seeing red, yes. everybody. Everything you need to know about saving your very life. And then later, the two ladies who got the surprise of a lifetime on our plaza after this.